Hello, today it's a video on how to extract the hard disk from an Ins a Dell Inspiron 14Z and uh, extended model number is 4523 so Inspiron 14Z4523 and conveniently there's a little panel but that's not for the hard disk, the hard disk is somewhere over here along this uh, front bit of the machine so uh, if I open that up somewhere under here, um, which is going to be really annoying to get to because you have to extract everything probably to get to the hard disk out because I expect the palm rest needs to come up. So I'm going to start by removing this cover. Apparently with difficulty. <coughs> I'd be very careful with that because it really feels quite flimsy and I expect you could snap it or crack it. Um, and in fact it's pretty... okay yes, you probably do want to undo that because it also then allows you to take the CD drive out. Which is also seeming difficult to get to. This entire machine is uh, not, not boding well with uh, ease of maintenance. Oh, on. Run the risk of snapping the plastic fascia of the drive. Right, there we go. It looks like either it's been opened before, I mean it has to have been opened before, there's no way that the screw that should be there could have dropped out when it's pushed up against there, so I'm going to say that this machine's been opened before by somebody that wasn't me. So, <clears throat> there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws, all covered by little rubber doobries, except for that one where the rubber things disappeared. So let's try and extract these rubber bungs, which I think is also going to be a pain. Okay, the ones at the edge are much thinner, so you can't mix these things. So make sure you keep them in the correct location so you remember which ones went where. undo, remember if your one has a screw at where the CD drive used to be to undo that one, but my one's missing. Undo the remainder of the screws, which in this case they aren't done up very tightly, so I'm surprised that none are actually missing. They've probably been saved by having those little plastic covers over them. So that's all the visible screws on the underside. Turn the laptop over. Open it up. I'm also going to remove the keyboard. So there's a little clip in the top right and the top left. Just slide something very thin and that won't scratch the machine. And there's one in the middle to undo those clips. Hinge up a little bit and then pull the uh, keyboard towards the screen and then being careful because there'll be that ribbon cable on the underside. This machine's definitely been opened up before. I can tell because that keyboard connector is not straight so either Dell did an incredibly awful job building this machine when they originally built it or somebody's been into this and not done a good job of putting it back together. So this one is a little hinge. I'll try and get it on video uh, whilst not Damaging that connector, that's the best way to do this. Cool. Anyway, 
the uh, this thing will hinge upwards. Go. So while the cable isn't in there, you can see it just hinges like that. That's the keyboard extracted. Then because we're going to be taking this panel off, we're going to need to undo this other connector here. So that also hinges upwards. There we go. Now I can lift that connector out. Then there is one, two, three, four screws that I can immediately see holding this panel onto the motherboard. And there's, um, in fact, for safety, because we don't know where all these run, I'll also undo these three connectors as well, because one of them will be the touchpad and there may be other stuff as well. I can see the hard disk is here, so just underneath the touchpad there. So undo these. Again, they're all hinge connections. Hinge up the connectors. And then pull out those little tabs so that they're no longer securely in there. Now it will be splitting the top part of the case from the bottom part of the case. So hopefully I'm in shot here. Right, that's done two sides, and the final side, hopefully, is this one. Right. So now that entire thing will almost hinge upwards here. We can probably just lift the entire thing off. Yeah, there we go. So that's the uh, cover removed. What a pain this machine is. I really wish they uh, make easily maintainable computers these days. So on the screen we have 44 watt hour standard battery running across the top of the uh, hard disk. So to get the hard disk out we're going to have to lift the battery out, which is screwed in in two points there and there, either side of the hard disk. Now, okay, seems like probably the most sensible place to lift it is this middle plastic bracket and just gently ease it out because it's connected over there. And there we go, that's the battery. And for anyone wondering, the model number is type 2 NJNF and it's 11.1 .1 volts. And Dell part number is 0TPMCF. Right, now, now down to the hard disk. And what other stuff can we see? We have an MSATA SSD. Uh, so this machine came with uh, Intel's rapid storage technology, or it might be verging on when Octane came in. Um, but uh, I'm after the hard disk. So I'm lifting it up at this side, gently easing it out there, and there's the hard disk.
held in four screws on the bracket. If you are replacing this hard disk with an SSD or something similar, or a bigger hard capacity hard disk, you'd need to unscrew all those four screws, take this hard disk out, put the SSD in, put that back in and basically do the reverse of what we've just done to take the computer to bits. Um, so I will be putting this back together with the original hard disk back in it. I'm basically just getting uh, data off this data recovery. Uh, I will film putting this back together in a minute. Okay, it's time to put this back together. So you've replaced your hard disk or put an SSD into it. Slide the drive back into place noting that the screw holes should line up there and there. Take your battery and slide that into place, making sure that the connector over on this side here is making good contact and that these holes line up correctly and there and there. And then screw the two screws in below the battery your top cover yeah, and we did actually need to undo all those three they all three of those so touchpad light and the hard disk lights and other activity lights power lights and everything so all those three need to be undone and that one so push that back down into place I'm going to do the screws first and then I'll do the ribbon cables. So three screws along there and then one up near the fan. ribbon cable time so I'll try not to get my hand too in the way while doing this so that you can see so that little blue connector needs to go in there's a little black line which needs to be flush with uh, the little silk screen print that's on the board or when you do when you put that connector back it should be straight or flush with that and uh, the same with all these ones And the smaller ones can definitely be really fiddly. So there's one. Two. And three. All straight, all fully into those connectors. So, keyboard time. Again, interesting. Guess. Which way round is it supposed to be? It is supposed to be that way round, and it has it does have a little word that says up. So make sure that you put it in the correct way up with this white line facing towards you and upwards. So again, that should go hopefully securely in. And then this entire white bar gently hinge it down and that's definitely put back in better than it was when I first opened it up because that connector I'm sure was less uh, straight than that is now. Keyboard gets pushed in down this side and then just push along the top to make sure that's down, close the lid of the laptop, turn it over, just uh, Make sure that it's all clipped round securely around the entire thing. And then put the screws on the underside back in. So four along the bottom here towards the front of the laptop. along the top, 
towards the back of the laptop. As I say, I'm pretty sure there should be one here where the CD drive goes, but that's missing on this machine. And then we've got these little rubber bungs which need to go back. Which look like they have an orientation. They are slightly thicker on this corner one, on one side, so presumably the thinner side goes towards the edge of the laptop. These ones also have little keys. There's two little dents but they don't actually seem to match up with anything in the holes so I'm just going to have to mash those back in and just hope that they're the correct way around. Missing that one. Now CD drive back in. And this little flimsy cover that covers the RAM back on. And there we go, that's how you replace or upgrade the hard disk in this Dell 14Z. 5423. If this video has been useful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. You don't need to have the notification bell switched on for future videos, but just the subscriber numbers will really help. Thank you very much.